Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with ThomasHenson.com and today is another episode of... Wait, I couldn't hear you. Big data, big questions. All right, and so today I'm gonna cover a topic that I've kind of, you know, I kind of talk about a little bit. I think I've talked about it on here a good bit, but I've never devoted one video to it. I think it's something we need to do. Um, a lot of people have talked and asked and you hear it a lot around, is Hadoop dead, right? So it's like, Hey, are we wasting our time if we for learning Hadoop? Like, what's going on? You know, I thought Spark put, you know, Hadoop to bed a long time ago. What's going on with deep learning? Is that just going to kill off the Hadoop market? How is all this going to kind of affect me? And then, I've, honestly, as a data engineer, is Hadoop something I should be investing my time in? So, find out all about these questions that I'm going to cover around Hadoop and is Hadoop dead and is Hadoop still viable in 2018 and beyond? Right after this. So welcome back. I'm excited to do this video today around the Hadoop ecosystem and just finding out is it still something viable? Is Hadoop dead? You know, what is, you know, is, is it something that data engineers, machine learning engineers should invest any time in learning? So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. But before we jump in, I want to make sure that you never miss a video, never miss the discussion around the community, uh, around Hadoop and the ecosystem and deep learning. Make sure you subscribe to the video here below. And then also, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section here below. I'll get to them as fast as I can. And then also, you know, if you have any ideas for, for videos or, you know, have anything around discussion, let me know. Let's, you know, let's, let's, let's jump on a Skype and let's talk a little bit about maybe record this and uh, put it out to the community. Let's, ha let's have this discussion. This is what I, what I love doing. So today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about Hadoop and is Hadoop dead? So, you know, you hear it a lot. Um, a lot of people talk about Hey, you know, is in, in 2018 or, I mean, I even heard this in 2017, is, is Hadoop still viable? Is it something that I should invest in and learn and spend any time doing? My answer is, it's kind of going to depend how you define Hadoop, you know, and, <laughs> and you're like, well, wait a minute, what do you mean that? The way I talk about Hadoop and the way I see a lot of people talking about Hadoop is we talk about it in terms of the ecosystem. So if you're talking about Hadoop as far as the ecosystem, I'm not just talking about traditional MapReduce and HDFS, right? So that when you think about Hadoop in the early days, that's really what it was, right? You know, MapReduce was a way to write batch jobs in Java or, you know, abstracting, uh, you know, maybe Pig or Hive or s some other kind of level. But they were mostly batch jobs that you would write. And HDFS was the storage component of, of where all your data went. And that was Hadoop, right? But there's this whole ecosystem that was built around it. You know, if you look at Spark and you know, if you go to Spark's web website, it's 100 times faster than MapReduce and some of the other things. So it's kind of like, well, if you have Spark that can 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 write these jobs as fast, I mean, is is, is that kind of killing off Hadoop? And I think the MapReduce part, yeah, I mean, there's there's been some changes. You have Tez, you have, you have other different ways of executing and running your jobs, but I think it's still looked at as a whole ecosystem. So whenever I talk about Hadoop and I talk about the ecosystem, right? I talk about, you know, you don't have, I mean, you don't even have to use HDFS to be a part of it, right? But there's all these other tools you can use. You can use Pig, you can use Flink, you can use Spark. Um, I've talked about in some other videos when we start looking at the future of where we're going with deep learning and some of the other pieces, Hadoop, the Hadoop ecosystem's not being left behind, right? You know, there's a, there's a project I was just reading about um, from the uh, Uber engineering team where they were where they were trying to leverage TensorFlow to be able to pull data from their Hadoop cluster and you know and using some of the compressions with Parquet and some some of the other pieces. I've talked about it here on this channel. I am super excited about Project Hydrogen. Uh, so it's a Spark project where they're you know creating creating these data pipelines that allow for us to be able to write you know, our Spark jobs and use TensorFlow or PyTorch or Cafe, all as first class citizens, just like we would with MLlib, right? And so there's a lot of things going on to future proof Hadoop and to say, hey, you know, once again, the ecosystem, right? Future proof that ecosystem so that we're able to do all the cool things that we're doing with machine learning and deep learning and still have it viable in our Hadoop cluster. Cause we've spent, a, we've spent a ton of, you know, a ton of money, we spent a ton of resources. I mean, heck, there's such a big ecosystem just around Hadoop that I don't think it's going anywhere. And in fact, so IDC, so some of the industry, like if you're familiar with some of the industry analysts like IDC and Gartner and you know some some of the other ones, that they're they're all in on kind of where this market's going. And they're seeing that you know by 2020 or 2021, 
I mean, there's still going to be, you know, there's still going to be, you know, 70, 100, 100 billion dollars in just uh, IT spend around the hardware and, and the software around the Hadoop ecosystem. So it's still a growing market. It's it's taking over, in my opinion, some of, you know, and in, in, in kind of going through the enterprise data warehouse and kind of eroding some of the growth that's there. And we're still seeing, you know, we're still seeing Hadoop as that viable, as that viable solution for, for that. Once again, as the ecosystem. So the question that comes up a lot um, on my channel is, is that something that as a data engineer today, maybe you've invested, maybe you've been involved in the Hadoop community for quite some time now and you're like, hey man, should I continue to be able to do this? Or second off, maybe you're a new student, you know, maybe that's something you're, you're getting close to graduation, maybe you're choosing your college and you're like, man, I, I wanna get into data analytics, there's a lot of buzz around it, but I mean, is, is Hadoop something I should spend my time uh, learning? My answer is yes. I mean, there's no reason not to still be involved. I mean, we, you know, you look at the numbers and you look at the needs, you look at the job rep requisitions out there. It's definitely something you want to invest time in. The question, you know, the, the question is, you know, how much time do you invest? You know, is, is this something that you, that, that you continue to study on? And, and, and I think you do, but I also think that you look to other, just like I'm doing, you look to other uh, industries that are emerging too and see how those are going to cross and segment in. Cause you don't, you want to continue to learn and you want to continue to move, to move you know, your your career and, and your thought process forward, but you also want to be able to tie it back in. So like I said, you know, some of the things that I'm looking at from, you know, all my time that I've spent in the Hadoop market now looking at the deep learning, I'm looking for the crossover. Like how, you know, how does some of this stuff map back? Kind of where, where is it going from an industry perspective? But I'm not, you know, I haven't stopped developing. I haven't stopped doing the things that I'm doing in the Hadoop market just because, I mean, it's an exciting time. And I think, you know, there's going to be, there's going to be opportunities for people that have Hadoop skills and you know have deep learning skills and just you know data scientists, there's going to be so many different opportunities there that I would say you know continue continue to learn, continue to learn some of the new tools and some of the new open source products that are that are working on top of the Hadoop ecosystem, and that's going to make for an exciting career, and it's also you know going to give you going to give you some fun things to learn and be able to play with. So um, so no Hadoop is not dead, um, Hadoop. Matt reduce HDFS, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit, but you know, HDFS is still out there. You know, people are still using Matt reduce. So, um, no, you know, the, the, the Hadoop market is not dead. So continue on until next time. See you again on big data, big questions.